June 22nd, 2020. I got cat hair all over my shirt, so forgive me. This is the progress of our garden. Let me show you real quick. We made some little planters over here. We're gonna, we were not done yet. These are sunflowers. And we got this rock from like the side of the highway. <laughs> this is melon. This one's empty. We're gonna put watermelon in this one, but I'm still growing the seeds out. Oh my God, and this is pumpkin. And these pumpkin were about the size of the melons over there, but they totally enjoy the spot and they've grown big old leaves already. So I'm really excited about that. Check out our freaking cucumbers, guys. It's hella blossoming. I still need to learn a little bit more about uh, pruning plants and stuff. I did learn how to prune my tomatoes and look, check them out, dude. These are the ones that I grew inside the house during winter and they were tiny, tiny, tiny and and now look at them. Look at those, dude. So I'm a total proud tomato mama for this because these were my little guys. Wow, look at that, you guys, it's so exciting. And these guys we bought, so these four I grew myself. And then these guys over here, we got at, um, at a nursery, these guys too. And everything is growing and popping up. It's great, dude. We have the weed, some stuff around here. These are onions. They've popped up. They're getting big. Planted more potatoes. So this is potato, a uh, red potato and regular potatoes, excuse me. These are potatoes that I had grew um, myself, and I don't know. I don't know if I'm growing them right. Cause look at this. I don't know. I'm still learning, guys. We planted about four. I think there was four on this one. Yeah, four sunflowers, and then three sunflowers over there. And the freaking birds got to them, dude. They've been like picking stuff. It's so irritating. I never even knew. These are uh, zucchini. Um, right? Yeah, zucchini. These are zucchinis. Look, check this out. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I forget what this is. What is this? Squash, yellow squash. Um, we got beets and some carrots. I'm gonna have to weed some of the carrots out because I don't know what the hell's going on over there. Ooh, yeah. I gotta weed all that crap. Oh my god. Steve had accident. Well, he didn't really accidentally do it, but uh, he grabbed some of the seeds and just kind of threw them out um, for the birds. And they grew. He didn't even think about it. But we kind of just let them do their thing. So we got white corn. We got the sunflowers that are growing all around the place. It's collard greens. More sunflowers right there. And of course, the sunflower seeds took over this whole planting area. Ugh, I'm gonna have to clean that out. Oh, it's yucky. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean it out. We haven't been out in a while because it's been raining, so. But they ate us, they ate us out. <laughs> they ate us out, that sounds hella bad. <laughs> um, okay, so we got eggplant. And peppers, that's all peppers. Green uh, jalapenos. I think we have some serranos growing over there too. We never got to plant anything in this bed yet. We're trying to make it into the lettuce one. We just haven't gotten to it yet. Got so. a bunch of mint. Got a yerba buena somewhere around here. Is this yerba buena? Yeah, that one. It's sweet mint. Um, Yerba buena in Spanish, and we use it a lot for like um, for soups and stuff. Okay, we got mojito mint, we got rosemary, uh, fucking mosquitoes everywhere trying to bite me. I hate mosquitoes, yo. Oh, hell no. Ugh. Freaking mosquitoes always get me when I'm outside, it's so irritating. Um, okay, so we got some sweet basil. Um, I'm gonna have to learn how to prune all of that. 
Um, got regular basil. Oh, crazy as, what are you? That's a cool looking bug. I don't know what it is. Um, but you better not be eating my plant, yo. Um, purple basil. I already harvested some of that. Um, we got our strawberries. Wait, your, your lemon balm. We got some lemon, whatever, yeah, that, over there. It's blooming, so it, I have to learn a little bit more about that um, plant. Uh, I've got strawberries here. Um, we're learning as we go. So we're losing a bunch of strawberries because they keep touching the ground and they get rot. And I learned about cilantro bolting and my cilantro bolted so I learned I learned about that <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna wait until the seeds come out again and then I'll try and plant them again uh, I got parsley oregano thyme sage uh, spearmint right there so I'm still learning as we go these fucking birds yo look they keep picking at our stuff. Let me just toss that over there. Stupid, stupid birds. Look, look what they did. These are peas, and they they've been snacking on it. Oh my god! Look. Oh, those bastards. Oh, those freaking bastards. Let this one alone. Uh, we got more peas over here. That's a beans I mean whatever you know yeah sunflower oh, not looking too good there we also installed the rest of this like walkway stuff um edging I guess we got those rocks make it all cool looking and then we got that isn't that cool so yeah, we've been, I mean, Steve, Steve has an, he, he used to do landscaping for a living. So he's just been landscaping everything and it looks great so far and, and it's going to look even better when we're done. So we're slowly getting everything together and it's so cool. I'm so happy. This is so fucking cool. I'm learning so much. I know I swear a lot, but whatever. <laughs> Deal with it. Okay, and I got some seedlings here. Um, I'm calling these surprise peppers because I honestly don't remember what kind of peppers I put in there. And then I got some lettuce here. This is the only one that's growing. I don't know what the hell's happening here with the rest of these, but I'm learning still. Got wild asper um, arugula. This is the only basil seed that actually survived that I planted. And it's been very frustrating, but I'm still learning. Radishes, watermelons, these guys are gonna go over there. My spinach, I don't know what the hell's happening to my spinach, but there's some green stuff growing here, so I don't think that's gonna grow. I'll give it another few days, I guess. And look, these are my tomatoes that I have planted inside the house. And look how big it got. I know, I probably should have put them separately, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm still learning. Um, they're doing pretty good so far, so I'm just gonna leave them and see what happens. But I got some some fruit happening, and hopefully they'll they'll do good. I've been pruning the bottoms to give it air, and hopefully they'll they'll survive, even though they're kind of sharing a pot. I really thought that this area was gonna do a lot better because it's like in the sun, but it's it's just too rocky on the bottom. So for my very, very first garden, I think we're doing pretty good. I'm excited to, to harvest. I mean, I've been harvesting a bunch of herbs and using the herbs when we cook. Oh, I should show you my drying rack. So I made this rack um, out of just a stick from the, from the yard. Um, these beads are kind of in the way, but I mean, you can imagine what looks like these beads. A stick and then just some twine, we hang it up. And I've been drying 
some herbs here. Um, just kind of learning as I go, guys. I love my kitchen window, it's so green. <laughs> I picked um, some thyme, um, oregano, and rosemary this morning, so I gotta hang those up and get those going. I got some already in a jar, some purple basil. Yeah, so these are the onions that Steve had harvested from the garden earlier today. He said they were ready, they were popping out, so we grabbed them. Okay guys, that's it for today showed you a little tour of the garden and how we're doing and the progress and all that so I just wanted to get it all recorded because one day it's going to be all done and it's going to be so cool to look back and see all the progress of how we started everything from basically scratch so yeah all right guys please.